once upon a time there lived. Come on, follow me. This is the story of a boy named Jack who lived with his mother in a little old shack. They once had a goose who laid gold eggs, which a giant stole. Now they had to beg. Now they had to beg. We need to buy some food somehow. Jack, we'll have to sell our cow. I'll do it, Mama. Please don't you worry. It's a long way to market, so you'd better hurry. That's the prettiest cow I've ever seen. I'll buy her for five magic beans. Jack showed Mama when he got back home. I shouldn't have sent you out alone. No, no, no. Mama threw the beans right out the door. Now they were poorer than they were before. They went to bed, and what do you know? Those magic beans began to grow. to me. No, I'm not. I'm just resting my eyes. Well, all right then. How about this one, Dewey? Little Red Riding Hood. Yes, please. Little Red Riding Hood phoned her granny, phoned her granny, phoned her granny. Granny said, I don't feel well. Would you please come today? Little Red went right away, right away, right away. Down the forest path she went, but then she met a wolf. Little girl, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? I'm sorry, wolf. I cannot stop. 
I'm gonna go see my granny. Little Red Riding Hood ran away, ran away, ran away. But that wolf knew a shorter way to get to Granny's faster. Don't say a word! That bad wolf said, and he put on Granny's nighty. Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door, on the door, on the door. Can I come in, Granny? Come in, my dear, and don't forget that basket. My, what great big ears you have! Ears you have, ears you have. Granny, what great big ears you have. The better to hear you with. He said, My, what great big eyes you have. Eyes you have, eyes you have. Granny, what great big eyes you have. The better to see you with. He said, My, what great big teeth you have. Teeth you have, teeth you have. Granny, what great big teeth you have the better to eat you with he said up he jumped and she jumped back she jumped back she jumped back up he jumped and she jumped back and hid behind the table then out popped granny and she was mad she was mad she was mad she chased him with a broom she had she chased him around the room out you go wolf shoo 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 out you go wolf shoo 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 and don't you ever come back i feel much better granny said granny said granny said i feel much better so do i and now let's have a picnic the wolf was never seen again seen again seen again and that is how the story ends now go to sleep my dewey Good night, Dewey. Once upon a time, there lived... Come on! Follow me! This is the story of a boy named Jack who lived with his mother in a little old shack. They once had a goose who laid gold eggs, which a giant stole. Now they had to beg. Now they had to beg. We need to buy some food somehow. Jack, we'll have to sell our cow. I'll do it, Mama. Please don't you worry. It's a long way to market, so you'd better hurry. That's the prettiest cow I've ever seen. I'll buy her for five magic beans. Jack showed Mama when he got back home. I shouldn't have sent you out alone. No, no, no. Mama threw the beans right out the door. Now they were poorer than they were before. They went to bed, and what do you know? Those magic beans began to grow. Straight through. Mama, look, it's a giant vine. Jack jumped 
warm or merry, this castle is dark and cold and scary. No, no, no. Just then, from the end of the big, big room, came a huge, huge voice. It began to boom. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell a boy by gosh, by gum.